Hey everybody, my name is Jonathan. I'm with the Token Forum. I'm really excited to be here with Jonah Glasgow of Thanks. LindaCoin. Uh, they are a proof of stake uh, blockchain and I'm really excited for him to introduce himself. Tell us a little bit more about yourself, Jonah. All right, thank you for having me. My name is Jonah Glasgow. I am part of Linda Project Science C. We represent LindaCoin. Really exciting thing about LindaCoin is that we actually are a peer-to-peer -peer currency, much like Bitcoin, but we've emphasized on proof of stake. One of the different things that you would see from Bitcoin opposed to LindaCoin is actually that we really want to reduce the carbon footprint that you currently see right now with Bitcoin. So we focus a lot on that. We also focus a lot on making sure that our community is strong and rewarding the community members for confirming transactions Excellent. opposed to external clients that we see with Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a little bit more unique for us in that space because our community is always excited to be part of it. Yeah. And, you know, the more that you contribute, the more that you get rewarded for really helping out in this awesome community. Awesome, awesome. Can you can you go a little bit deeper on that? What does uh, confirming transactions mean in the in the Linda project? Yeah, so proof of stake right now uses a hash algorithm that basically confirms it a little bit different than what you would see to proof of work. There is a 256 bit encryption that we have to confirm. And once that bit encryption is actually confirmed, then the transaction process does go through. We want to make sure that obviously the rewards that are going or being created, let's say, yeah. in the economy is actually not going to an external client that can then use it in some sort of malicious activity, right. but also going to the users that are in the chain from the beginning and you know continue on from there. Yeah. We find that the community is really excited to be rewarded, but also contribute to the fact that external clients really aren't processing transactions, but they are themselves doing the work. Right. So I, you know, I remember you telling me that you can actually um, stake on your mobile phone. I'd love to hear a little bit more about that. Yeah, so LindaCoin has actually released our mobile app. It's called LindaCoin My Staking Wallet. You can find it on Google Play and iOS. But one of the things that we focus on on that is that we allow our users to just hold their coins much like any other wallet would normally do on iOS yeah. or Google Play, but you can actually get rewarded for that. So it's really unique because we actually are one of the only mining efficient platforms right now on iOS because now all POW consensus, um, you know, mining apps have actually been removed from that. So right. we're a little right. bit unique in that space because there's not very many applications that can do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's excellent. And it's, it's pretty rare to be a coin that can be on uh, Apple, right? Yeah, it, you know, it's really rare that a coin can be on Apple, especially after they've really redefined their, their protocols. They're looking for a little bit more professional companies to be able to be in the space. Yeah. They wanna make sure that you are an approved currency and they go through all of the different criteria, whether it's your you know, background in company structure and things like that, that allows you to be approved on that space. Right. We also do offer the availability for other projects to be listed on LindaCoin My Staking app. So we do have a variety of coins on there as well yeah. right now. Not just LindaCoin, but you can hold multiple coins that partner with us. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So, so Jonah, tell us, how did you get into blockchain and crypto? What's your origin story? Yeah. So I got into blockchain back in 2017, December, when I was on my Christmas break from school. I'm really an international student right now studying in electrical engineering. And I found a lot of different things interesting about blockchain. One of the things I found interesting was that people were confirming transactions using an abundant amount of electricity really right now on, on the grid. And that there was a new algorithms coming out that were going to redefine that process and that they could use you know chain participants inside of that to really reward the clients instead of external ones. This in return, uh, translated to a lot of different kilojoules or kilowatts off the grid being removed, yeah. we can say. And this is something that is is drastically needed right now in multiple different fronts, whether we're looking at, you know, eco-friendly, uh, I don't know, light bulbs or eco-friendly appliances. We're always looking for something eco-friendly yeah. to reduce the grid. Uh, so when I found that this was being done right now in blockchain, I wanted to be a part of it. I really wanted to find new ways to just revolutionize what we can do with our chain and make it better. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Uh, wh what do you see in Linda Coin's future? Or wh what are the next couple? T what are the next things coming along on the horizon for what you're working on? It's establishing professionalism in this space. We've 
done that by creating a new consensus for our second project, Linda X, which we are going to release to the public and show how tokenization and the building of assets can be done and represented by a professional level. You know, there's certain places right now where certain people on Ethereum can build any token. And of course, that's great. We need that kind of involvement from everybody, but we need to create a safeguard for all users currently in this space so it's yeah. a little bit more effective. Um, you know, you can't see something where Safeway token, for example, is next opposed to something that is potentially done as, you know, it's, it's speculation in some aspects. So right. we want to make sure that there's legitimate projects coming out on one main chain, kind of making it a little bit more effective and more professionalism in the space for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, and then to clarify for everybody, LindaCoin is its own chain, correct? Yeah. 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 LindaCoin is a proof of stake and then LindaX is POA. So there's a proof of authority method that we've done on that, which is completely unique and different. It's much similar to what is currently being developed on Ethereum, mm -hmm. but we've actually taken that and gone in our own direction. Yeah. So it's much faster than Ethereum. It allows you to create tokenization assets the same way that Ethereum would be able to allow you to do that effectively, but it's done in a, a much faster scalable measure. So people can actually send transactions, you know, 15 times faster than Ethereum. Wow. You have reduced gas fees for all users. So we're trying to create not only a more effective scalable Ethereum style token or coin that can create tokens, economy, we'll say. And and from there, we can really define the professionalism in that. Yeah, excellent, yeah. excellent. Um, tell me a little bit more about your team. Where, where are you all based out of? We're all based, <laughs> we're actually all international. So we focus a lot on um, meetings online. We have some members right now here in Seattle, Galen, and we also do have some other members uh, in Detroit and also all over the world. So back in Alberta, Netherlands, going back to Australia, we're wow. really all over. Yeah, that's excellent. Distributed yeah. team. That's great. That's great. So, um, you know, being that you're here in Seattle and you've obviously traveled all the world with this project, what are your thoughts in regards to Seattle and blockchain? Um, how do you see Seattle comparing to the rest of the communities out there? It's, it's funny you say that because I think that uh, Seattle is a really big hub for cryptocurrency. The way that projects are evolving here is something like I haven't seen really anywhere else yeah. on this you know western north side. We can say right now that there's projects collaborating together constantly to be able to make new solutions um, as well as we'd see development from, I don't know, a lot of other chains coming together and, and you know, working on, on that level. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, you were involved with the first Token Forum. You're going to be involved yeah. uh, with this next one, too. Uh, what are your thoughts on Token Forum? You know, what, what brings you coming back? Uh, Token Forum is really exciting. Uh, just meeting new people, being able to collaborate with other projects and talk about the new exciting development in this space. We really want to talk about you know, what's going on with Linda projects, but also talk about how we can find solutions for current problems in the space. Yeah. And the best way to do that is really be part of the process. Yeah. Find out what people feel needs to be redefined in the space and also find new partners which we can solve those problems. Excellent, excellent. Well, Jonah, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Hey, no uh, problem. Really excited to have you at our next Token Forum and you'd be such a valuable member to the Token Forum community. Um, you can come see Jonah and all our other great speakers and panelists on November 9th, and you can uh, learn more at thetokenforum.com. See you then. Thanks.